By this time, everything is really blooming in our yards, but for some reason, not so much my yard. It looks nothing like this guy's. Or Master, <laughs> Master Gardener Cisco <laughs> Morris is here to talk about a flower that is beautiful, but hard to say, Alstromeria. Maria. Maria. That was oh. really good. I almost said AstraZeneca, but I think that's a drug. <laughs> Ask your doctor if Alstromeria <laughs> is right for you. Actually helps shrink swelling. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people call it Inca lily because oh, it's a lot easier. That's what I'm going with. Peru. So what is this beauty? Oh, it's such a cool plant. It's a perennial. It dies back. You won't even know it's there in the winter. Uh -huh. But then it comes up. Every year it gets a little bigger and thicker. Okay. And it uh, just is such a beautiful plant. I got to admit, this is my favorite right Did, here. Uh, this came from your garden? That came, yeah, I cut that this oh, morning. And I, this came so from jealous. my side of the garden, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so This is Indian summer. So who, I, who does better with these, you or Mary? Which side of the garden is well, looking better? Well, I call this one uh, Alstromeria Mysteriosa. Uh -huh. Because I swiped this out of her side of the garden this morning. I couldn't <laughs> ask her the name of it. I didn't want her to see. I took it, you know. <laughs> but she's this is the only Alstromeria she has. I've well, she got doesn't them. have it anymore, no, apparently. No, no, and uh, I just bought these. These are going on my side, too. So. <laughs> That's great. Wait, so these are all various types of Alstromeria. They keep coming up with new ones now. Yeah, you know, it, some of them look very different. The the purple one looks quite a bit yeah, different from the ones in the middle. Yeah, this is the first year I've ever seen this. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's called Tamara. And, uh, it's a New Day exclusive, folks, Yeah, right New Day exclusive. <laughs> so I uh, never have seen a purple like this. That's yeah. going to look so good oh, on my beautiful. side of the garden. It's unbelievable. So they grow like gangbusters, which is also maybe a problem because they, they I know these have a bit of a reputation for being oh, yeah. sort of weedy, right? Oh, they yeah. just they, start showing there up. There was one called uh, Puchella. Uh -huh. And it was the only one. Great concert, by the way. <laughs> I was at Puchella last year. Man, it was cra the kids get crazy there, though. I'll tell you what, they all start uh, taking Ostromeria and uh, it gets out of control. Well, Puchella was an orange one. Mm -hmm. It was the only one you could get back in the old days. And it just, it took over my garden so fast. And then in the middle of summer, it disappears. So it overruns everything. Disappeared. You got this giant hole in the garden. It drove me nuts. So I stayed away from Alstromerias for years. Uh -huh. But you can't even get Puchella anymore because everybody knows it's a bad guy, oh, <laughs> the bad okay. kid. But these, all these hybrids, they don't seem to run at all. A little bit nicely, politely. You know, they oh, don't nice. take over your garden or cause trouble. So it's always one bad apple or one bad Alstromeria yeah. ruins the whole bunch, doesn't it? Ruined the reputation for everything else. So are they fairly high maintenance, or do they, once they're like just to get them started, or is, is it is it a little tougher? And then once they're no, going, they keep things, going. Or these are a piece of cake. You stick really? them in the ground, they grow. <laughs> So you but, don't think I can? You don't think I could kill these? Well, well now that <laughs> that could be. <laughs> no, I could. <laughs> trust me, I, I can kill anything. They don't want to be in blazing hot sun yeah. with reflected light off okay. the wall or something like that. But out in the perennial bed, they just thrive, yeah. you know. And, and they, uh, make, they make nice bouquets, huh? Oh, they last. That's the thing. These you see these a lot in uh, flower arrangements at the grocery store uh -huh. and everything. You oh, know? I see. Because uh, this flower right there will last two weeks in bouquets. I'll be throwing everything else out in oh the recycle bin, but uh, this these guys just uh, all of them just last forever in bouquets. So if you like making flower arrangements, this is your plant okay. for sure. That's good to know. Well, you know, I have a question. Um, while I've got you here, I like to be a little greedy and ask your gardening advice. <laughs> so this, most years I can grow tomatoes and I can't stop them from growing. This year, they're just, they're not doing anything. Most, and it was at the cold spring? What it was happened? cold spring. Most of the tomatoes I'm seeing now uh -huh. look like they've been hit by a sledgehammer <laughs> and hit with a flamethrower. They're just like, Help! yeah. <laughs> the, the problem is, if, if the cold got them too bad, normally we put them out on Mother's Day. Uh -huh. You know, and it's warm enough. It gets a little cold at night, but not too bad. 
this year was weeks after Mother's Day before you could put them out. If the weather gets into the 40s uh -huh. and hits tomatoes, it, it sometimes it kills the chlorophyll inside. They t turn either okay. on yellow or purple. Yes. Yeah. Uh, those tomatoes, a lot of times, they don't perform for the whole rest of oh, summer. Oh, no. They're yeah. just the duds of history. I was, so. I was pulling off the dead parts and trying to carefully water. I thought maybe I didn't water them enough in the recent heat, but they were looking bad before that, too. Yeah. Is anything actually doing a little better right now because of the cold spring? Well, I'm already eating Brussels sprouts. Not Brussels sprouts. I wish I was. <laughs> Jeez, they're the reason I'm so buff and good know. looking, you know. It's true. So, but... Uh, uh, the broccoli I've been eating already. You have? Yeah, because it uh, Brussels sprouts and okay. broccoli, all the cabbage family likes it cooler. They don't, okay. They don't like being in intense sunshine okay, like Okay, that explains something, because I've got a little bit of broccoli, and it's w the one thing that hasn't been wiped out so far. But watch out for the rabbits. The rabbits? Oh, I I had a pet bunny when I was a kid, and uh -huh. I loved that Oh, we're, that de we're delving bunny. deep now. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love then... that bunny so much. <laughs> I hate rabbits now! <laughs> oh, Silly rabbit! Thing. They Rascally got... wabbit! <laughs> they got my Brussels sprouts and broccoli last year. I was so upset. It was hard oh, to Oh, my take. gosh. Okay. Well, so... <laughs> <laughs> rabbits don't like these, no, though. No, these actually, are, these are a bit poison. So uh, rabbits, okay. all the animals know not this to This is these. a good question. I mean, we, we like to take flowers out for the loved ones who've passed, you know, and pl place them in the cemetery, things like that. And, it's, you know, sometimes it's really hard to keep the deer away from them. Um, what about these? Would these be par fairly deer proof? As far as I know, I don't have any deer to get into my Seattle garden. Mm -hmm. Although I have a friend in downtown Bellevue and woke up with deer out in her garden the other day. Oh, really? So they're everywhere now. Uh -huh. And uh, as far as I know, from all research I've done, and every deer won't touch these. If rabbits aren't going to eat them, I doubt deer would eat her. So I think 99% sure they're deer proof. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, they'd be really nice to use in that purpose. You know, they uh, well, last so a gonna... long time. Yeah, yeah, and they last a long time too on their own. So, oh well, yeah, they just keep it. pumping out flowers for quite a long time. They won't be done till the end of August, I'd say. Okay. Well, thank you, Cisco, so much. Ask your doctor, folks, if uh, Al Al Alstromerica <laughs> Alstromeria is right for you. <laughs> I have no idea. I still can't say it after an entire segment. <laughs>